now i am going to demonstrate t test in spss after opening the data in spss we need to go to analyze so all the three type of independent test has to be done by clicking on analyze by keeping the cursor on compare means we will get all the three types one sample t test independent t test and paired t test first we will see how to do one sample t test so now i am clicking on one sample t test i am going to check whether the age of my sample is significantly different with the population average or mean suppose if i want to check whether this average of age among this sample is significantly different from the population mean which i know uh, from the data so when i put this 45 here suppose randomly i am putting 45 here then i click on okay so the one sample t test will appear here so in our sample after 120 the mean age was 39.5 standard deviation of 9.4 and uh, standard error of mean is 0.85 so this when compared with the test value of 45 we have a t value of minus 0.6387 87 so significance is 0.001 which is significantly different when compared to this 45 so that here the p value is this significant two tailed with the, the 95% confidence interval of this mean difference is minus 7.12 minus 3.78 so now i am going to demonstrate the next independent sample t test go to analyze compare means click on independent t test suppose if i want to compare the age of uh, between two different gender that is male and female it will ask for the grouping variable will we need to define here the uh, male and female has been given as m and f so here for independent t test the objective is to compare any numerical variable between two groups two independent groups so male and female so i am clicking on okay among the male the mean is 39.5 among the female the th uh, mean of age is 39.4 so when we look at this uh, table the interpretation we need to look at this equal variances assumed by default when we are doing independent t test levin's test for equality of uh, variances when this is not significant then we can go with the first row then when it is significant we have to uh, go with the uh, second row so here it is not significant so we need to take the first row that is the t value is 0.07 with the degree of freedom 118 and significance is 0.94 so that is the interpretation of independent t test that is the average or mean age is not significantly different between male and female now we are going to see about paired t test same analyze compare means again paired t test so we need to click on two paired variables that is uh, here i am clicking the baseline pulse and the pulse rate at 10 minutes so this will be considered as a paired observation so we need to use paired t test to compare this numerical variables between repeated observations so when we look at the t test here so ba uh, baseline the mean is 74 the pulse rate at 10 minutes is 76.4 that is a slight increase of nearly 2 uh, pulse rate at 10 minute we need to look at whether this is a significant difference or not so we have we need to look at this p value here it is 0.018 which is less than 0.05 hence it is significant so this increase of pulse rate of 2 from uh, 74 to 76 can be called as significantly different between these two groups so that is the interpretation of paired sample t test so the basic about doing t test in spss is go to analyze click on compare means we will get all the three type of t test which we can do for comparison of mean or average between two groups and this one way anova 
will be for more than two groups 